Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of uh, Moomin Slayer vs Strider. This is the round 5 game. Um, so this happened, Strider was a very smart chap, he, you know, he got us all together so we'd all play our games at the same time. Uh, it was myself versus Diamed was played at the same time as Strider versus Moomin Slayer, so this is why this is a replay. And uh, I don't know if we should do spoilers for my game or not because I mean everyone's been watching that uh, live whereas you know you might be watching this one first on YouTube so who knows but basically Strider knew that if he won he definitely 100% qualified if he drew well he had to equal or beat my result right if he loses it's okay as long as I lose if he draws it's okay as long as I draw and if he wins he's definitely in so uh, you know that, that was Strider's point of view and uh, Moomin Slayer was eliminated, but giving it his all with the uh, the little Black Orc team that could, uh, maybe. Uh, who knows? You know, they're not the best team in the world, are they, Black Orcs? And uh, okay, he's just, he's just instantly cast the tree though on turn one <laughs> with a massive gang file using guard. So that's pretty good, isn't it? That's a pretty good start. And didn't apple it, Strider. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't a badly hurt. Um, in the booth is Dimmy G and Elliot. Hello. Hello, Jimmy, and uh, hello, Elliot. Hmm, Elliot might be here. Um, he might be here. Sneaky Is Git it? was exposed to the mighty blow, didn't get the pow. Oh my god, and he's coming <laughs> He's coming for his balls. Yeah, I don't know if uh, you can see the slight problem for the Blackhawks here is that his whole team is on the other side <laughs> of the pitch from the ball. <laughs> yes, yes, that was quite a nice gang foul, but you do have the problem of an entire elf team intersecting you. He has to re-roll this. Ooh, I would have re-rolled that just because if I didn't re-roll it, my leader would get cast and I would lose the re-roll that I would, didn't use, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Um, what's he called? K-Fog, he tends to give his his thrower, well, his runner um, on blood, on on... On oh, Dark Elves, he gives his runner um, dodge because he he says exactly the same. You know, every time every time he dodges with him, he rolls a one and then has to re-roll it because it's his leader. Whereas if he's got dodge, he's just got dodge. So yeah, so that's in interesting that um, you know we had a few leaders taken in this tournament. Yeah, I guess it's just the nature of NAF and wanting to squeeze in some extra cash, right? Mm. So if you take a leader, you're not buying the re-roll. Yep. Especially with woodies. Like, woodies are like expensive, aren't they? They are, yeah. Gets the removal. Oh, Apple comes in for the KO. That is a bit brave. That is a bit brave, right? It keeps Which his leader. leader gym, on. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like you say, like, he's got to keep it on the pitch, otherwise he mm. loses a rematch. Yeah. But if he's getting fouled next turn, isn't it? That's the problem. I hate Apple and KOs like that when they've been gang yeah, fouled because he's just yeah, going to yeah. get gang fouled again next turn. Um, it's a guys you can't Apple, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's like Res, Team on Taylor. You can do exclamation point BBSL and it gives you all the links to like the uh, all of the all of the rules and the tables and everything. And so yeah, except they can't, they can't take bribes, can they? Because there's something wrong with the... Yeah, they couldn't roster bribes. Yeah, they, they couldn't roster inducements. Um, yeah, this is why we haven't seen any Underworld in the competition. Because you yeah. can't take... Well, this is why I'm assuming we haven't seen any Underworlds. Yeah. I mean, Underworld is still pretty good. Do you know what's weird? That, that like, this guy was getting gang fouled, and yet Strider committed his whole team just to hit the troll. And, like, he's given up a lot of defence here. That, that's a bit wild versus Black Ops, which have, you know, got an absolutely shit offence. And Yeah. And to just let him have that, you know, over there, that was a bit that was a bit interesting. Interesting. Super interesting. Yeah, it was wild that nobody went Underworld. Even even without um, in inducements, I mean, you would have thought somebody would have done. Underworld, Lizards, Undeads. Like, none of them. Yeah. And Dark Elves. Yeah, it's, it's like, really literally, weird. apart from Amazons, which aren't in the game, in my opinion, like the four best teams <laughs> in res. <laughs> I mean, orcs, is, orcs are really good, though, right? It's a tier orcs, two. I, mm, the one thing I would say about orcs is that they're great if you only need a draw, but like when it comes to winning games. Well, I mean, this is the thing, right? The, the group stage has draws, and then the playoffs have overtime, so. They, which orcs are better in overtime, I would say, because mm. of the AV. Whereas, like, I, mean, I mean, lizards, you can one turn with lizards pretty reliably. Um, like, you can definitely um, try and one turn with dark elves. 
Um, but they're just faster, they're more agile, like they're just better at scoring touchdowns than, than Orcs are. Well, yeah, but they're also um, a lot less durable. I mean, they, you can compare them to Orcs. You say they're a lot less durable, but they're, they're like you, you get like four bludgers. Um, I mean, Dark Elves are a completely different team to, to Orcs, right? That, that's not really a comparison. Yeah. To make is this a, is there a hit on the ball here? Some kind of chain? There's got to be, surely. Uh, I mean, it would have been uphill, was it? Mm. Oh, this way. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, because like he could have, yeah, he could have knocked him down and then chained him onto there, and but then and then one did the ball. I guess it's not worth yeah. it, right? It's not worth it. Just try and screen. Strider's pretty conservative, so just you know. Smash a gobble screen. Like he, to be fair, he fully recovered after that. After that twat magnet turn, he just got everything back in front the next turn, didn't he? He's, he's Wood Elves. Oh he's yeah. Seven, and uh, he has a. Uh, he has. He has. Yeah, I think we're going to see a three dice blitz with block now. Oh no, we're not. I'm just going to two D him. Be silly, Jimmy. <laughs> this is another catcher. Gets a pound. Bosh. I would have three D'd him with, with block, but um, oh, we can see a big fat gang foul. Oh, so this is yeah. beautiful, isn't it? Because these guards, like these guards, it's it's such a it's such a buff to like fouling. It it's so crazy that like I don't think anybody really realised how good it would be. You know, just from reading yeah, I mean, like, there's certain things that you looked at in the rules there, and we're like, oh my god, that's gonna be so strong. And then, like, but just that simple change. To, I mean, like, why would you buff guard? It's already the best skill in the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody said that, right? Everyone said this is stupid buffing the best skill in the game, but I yeah. don't think anybody really truly realised how how just how amazing it is because you never thought of making those fouls before, right? Because yeah. it was a one assist foul, but now that those one assist fouls are now like. Three assists, five fouls, assists. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like without any positional cost. It, it's just yeah, crazy. Yeah. Mm. Too big of a nerf to guards. Defensive is is irrelevant if you play the rules right. Like this is this is the thing. If you if you, you play the well, unless you, you're Amazon. So. Yeah, unless you're Amazon. But I mean, they they weren't out yet, right? When the rules were like printed, um, no no team had natural defensive. And then the teams that would want it, which is like bash teams on their like big guys, right? On their, yeah, on their big guns or whatever. Access. Yeah, it's just it's just unrealistic for them to skill these players to the point where they want to take defensive, right? Like in, in a league environment with redraft. Especially with redraft, yeah. Yeah. So so it's that it's kind of super interesting to quote Kale on that uh, it has become a thing. Like obviously an infinite bowl, defensive is incredible, right, on the big teams. The big bash teams love defensive, and it it, it gets amazing. But um, in like normal blood bowl, it it has no effect apart from zones. Yeah. So this is uh, yeah. three removals here. He's down the pitch, turn six. Still got two turns. This is a pretty good drive for Moomin Slayer, isn't it? He's still got a lot of work to do. And he's got a guard on the cage corner, so like the leap ins aren't, you know. Super devastating. They're not great. Obviously, he doesn't have the stripper, does he? He took mighty blow, so he doesn't. He doesn't have like the the two plus, but he has a four plus, whenever he wants it. Yeah. Gets the pow. And a stun. Can he get the foul this turn? Probably not. He probably has to run away at the other side, isn't he? Oh, it's, he's also miles away. <laughs> Where, where does the ball go? I don't think he cares. <laughs> <laughs> Sideline cage. Oh, no. oh my god. Sideline cage. Yeah, but it's kind of like... He can't oh my god, he's going to dodge all the way through for the foul! <laughs> Amazing! I can't see him! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. I never realised the goblin has a nose ring either. Oh wow, he got sent off, but what a play. What a play that was. Dodges through all the tackle zones for a two plus two assist foul. Removes the mighty blow dancer for the game. That is incredible. Insane play, yeah. Well done, Winslay. What a what a Well done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well done. Well done. I don't know why I, I don't know why I'm so happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he could have tried to surf the ball. I mean, well, he could have tried to surf the ball. I wonder if he should have tried to surf the ball. 
um, that turn. But I mean, this is, you know, he's got a pretty good wall here, hasn't he? I guess he's thinking it's not worth it. I mean, he's running out of L with the... Mm, but I mean, this is a pretty good wall. You know, oh, I thought he'd tag the goblin, maybe, because he could... Can you give it this goblin? One, two, three, four, five... Oh, oh my god, he's just cast himself again. Yep. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, so you can't hand off to him. I guess this guy was mispositioned by one, right? He should have been available as a handoff. Um, yeah. I guess he can just block. He can just blitz and then and then dodge through on threes, right? It's stunting. Or was he Jimmy? <laughs> or was he? He can, he can he can just blitz, right? And then and then three 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 three, like three three three. Already blitzed. Oh, he's already blitzed. Oh shit! Yeah, he's, he's perfect. So he's got, he's got a pass. He's got a pass. It. Well, I mean, it, it's not. I, I think a four. I think a four plus pass isn't perfectly positioned. He oh was my perfectly god. positioned. Oh my god! Wow! And he's in. He's in. Incredible. The wide receiver goblin. Yeah. See, that's, that's, they're the most dangerous scoring threat. It's the one you just dismiss because they're out of range. Well, I didn't dismiss it. But it's just not as good, is it? It's not. It added a four plus. That was the, that was the problem. It turned a two plus into a four plus, which uh, you know. It was pretty amazing. Was he had four amazing. re rolls, by the way, for that turn. So it was still pretty. It was still a pretty high percentage player, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah, the four plus pass is pretty terrifying. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that seventy five percent is. Is brutal to be honest. Like that, that yeah. that's what I mean. There's no one turn here, is there? I don't think. Anyone who's played Kemri will understand the pain of the four plus. Does he even have re catchers left? Well, he had one catcher, but just not the players. Three, four, five, six players. I had two catchers. Two catchers. That's, six one, players. That, that's one way to stop the one turn. Is just massacre the <laughs> team so they they cannot yeah. even attempt it. And these guys stay out again, unbelievable, so the thrower is gone. Apple was used on him and he got KO'd anyway and stayed out. That was the problem with the Apple Inc, because right? he's going to foul him again next turn. That, that, I didn't really like that Apple, to be honest. Um, and then obviously this guy was badly hurt, so he could have apple him badly hurt later. But obviously it's easy to be wise after the event. I'm not, I'm not being a twisty twat trying to say, <laughs> you know, it's not results-based analysis. I just, you know, obviously we've all been in that situation where, like, you know, you get a... A key player for whatever reason, he gets fouled and he gets KO'd, and you're like, oh god, do it? Do I apple him or? Because <laughs> he's just going to get gang fouled again. And uh... oh, this has got hardly any players, has he? Six players. This is. Uh... I mean, what, what was it? An Aryan one chalice swoop? Was it three or something? Two? Uh, yeah, he one turned with uh, I think three players. So we need Jim. Yeah, I think it was like a grab tree and a touchback, <laughs> and then like the, the last guy blitzed somehow. <laughs> it was mad. <laughs> and speaking of an Aryan, I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, Moomin Slayer beat an Aryan's Wood Elves, right? With with this, with, oh my god, with this uh, Black Orc team. So can he beat the Whoa. other Wood Elves as well? That is crazy. In a trip skulls. T we were all gone. Trying to just hold his shape. The problem here is. That you know, like uh, they're just so slow, aren't they? The, the Blackhawks are so slow that, like, if you go forward to try and like cause them any problems, then you just leave your your backside wide open, which you know shouldn't really do I mean, too well. Just, should yeah, you? they're just super high variants. Like it, everything rests on that dirty player sneaky get shoulders to do something, oh. and in the games. He hasn't done anything. He's struggled in, and the games that he's performed above average, he's done well in. Like it's, mm. it's just high variance blood bowl, right? Yeah. But like this and is like, like this. Is, if the, if these were lizard men, this is horrendous yeah. for the wood elves, right? Because things get blitz and based up, and you're in a nightmare situation. But against black with black orcs. They're gonna base and, and everything, but the problem is, if you get past them, you'd get like a free stall hey, yeah, for, they're not for a few turns. You again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's almost like they looked at lizard men and were like, "How should have they been designed?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another send off, but trading? No, not even trading. No, stunned. 
But you know, it's just a goblin, isn't it? So. Fair enough. Just a goblin? Nah, fuck lizards. <laughs> yeah, fuck lizards. Hey, honestly, this is like. I think lizards are the only people I'm undefeated with on the table, so. Yeah, that they're... just goes to show how OP they are. They're insane, aren't they? So you one they day are here. So good. It's a two plus, though, isn't it? It's a two plus. So. It, it's like playing Blood Bowl with a Ferrari after like <laughs> playing with other races. It's, it's like having a <laughs> Nissan Micra for like 15 years, and then all of a sudden someone lets you test drive a Ferrari, and you're like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Is this what lizard coaches really see Blood Bowl like? <laughs> Do you even blitz the, uh, don't know, you have to blitz the dance here. And that's it, because you could just surf this guy, couldn't you? You could just surf this guy, and then, uh, and then try and, oh, he is just going to surf that guy. I mean, I think you have to put four dice onto the dancer, but, um, because I just don't think you're getting the stall pressure, right? Whereas if you'd like, if you'd push the dancer at the sideline, then maybe you can, uh, you know, make some goblin dodges to get pressure. The problem here is, like, pressure in the stall at all. He's gonna foul and everything. Another foul, another Kaz, oh my god. Absolutely mass murder. <laughs> well, this is the sort of game that makes me miserable as well. Like, I, I really feel for Strider because, uh, like, I mean, he's not doing anything like, wrong or anything. It's just, he's just. His opponent's completely ignoring the ball and just fouling him every turn <laughs> and he's slowly losing the. Like, Ooh! Listen. Yeah, that was pretty. Did that to get away from the. Wow. Hit, I guess. Oh my god. Little does he know, he'll probably just ignore him anyway and, <laughs> and foul something on the other side of the pitch. Cause, like, <laughs> yeah. Who cares about the ball, right, Jim? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Who's wow, wow. Strawberry? Who would love this I have no idea who Strawberry is. Three dice. No, it's not three dice. I thought it was a catcher. Even though he's got dodge, which is obviously you can't have a dodge as a learned skill if you're a catcher. I don't know why I thought he was a catcher. Oh my god, reroll gone here. Into dub schools! <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. I mean, I, that wasn't the best turn movement Slayer's ever played. <laughs> it was a bit unlucky, obviously, but, you know, I think maybe if it was the the playoffs in his tournament life was on the line, he might have uh, been a bit more focused on like breaking the stall. But uh, he's going to get a chance here anyway, isn't he? I think. I mean, whatever happens, he's going to get the throw teammate, isn't he? he whatever happens here, I, I don't think he's going to stall it for very long. I mean, maybe he could stall it. Oh my God, another... Oh no, it was Brawler. Yeah, it's, good. it's hard to stall from here, isn't it? To be fair, with one other player. Is that not a blitz? <laughs> Why didn't he blitz him? He could have blitzed him and tagged him from But But by blocking, he gets Brawler, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he would have turned over. Mm. I just thought that... Yeah, I guess... I guess he thinks he's, he's done enough it's to stop the stall. It's going to be a 2-plus either way, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I guess he's done enough to stop the stall. I oh, mean, you mean remove eight players, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing, so there's no the need to blitz. Yet. Well, yeah, what I mean is there's no need to blitz because he's done enough to stop the score without blitzing, so no. not blitzing gives him brawler. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's like literally impossible to scream. <laughs> oh, my God, four players. Oh, my days. I mean, he did stall with, like, three players for a few turns. How many KO rolls? Is it seven failed KO rolls? Is that, like, that's in crazy, total man. so far? So did he fail three at half time? I think he failed two, then two, and then three. Yeah, so I think he's failed seven uh, out of seven. And so he hasn't succeeded a KO roll? I don't think so, no. I think he's failed oh seven out of seven. Oh my god. Oh no, seven out of nine, okay. I, yeah, go. honestly. This is I still really hard. Know. Three turns, it's so deep, isn't it? It is hard, yeah. I mean, it's Blackhawks as well at the end of the day. It's, uh, mm. I don't think they're going to score. It's it's not like you know as set as it's not all at all said and done like it would be you know if it was if it was Wood Elves against like he's against three he's against four players <laughs> it's still it's still not over just because I mean, okay three players all right he removed another one he's against three players yeah he's got a hand off here yeah makes the hand off is he gonna come in for the strip here we go he is leap for a one D. 
Didn't he just? Oh no, the dog as well. Skulls! Oh my god, it's a two plus, and he rolled a skull. <laughs> oh god! I was quite mad because he like <laughs> leapt, fell, and then like flipped in the air, and then did the hit. That was mad. yeah. That's the re-roll, isn't it? He, he he rolled a two on the leap, so he uses. And then he, do, he like he does like a forward somersault, does he? I mean, I just, it's, it's, you know, I don't think they thought too much about re-rolls for some reason, despite it being a massive feature of the other games. Mate, the one that really pisses me off is the rat ogre when he's on the floor. He and he rolls uh, animal savagery, and then he gets up, hits the player, and then falls back on the floor, <laughs> and then you have to pick him up again and <laughs> move him. So. This is it, isn't it? This is it. This is just a win. Yeah. Yeah. There's, no, there's literally nobody left for the for the wood elves. Oh, is it one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god! Five, he snaked it and rolled a one on argue the call. <laughs> That's an absolute 100% win for Moomin Slayer. Unbelievable. So, if you've watched this game first, that means that I need to draw against Diomed um, to qualify. And But Strider could still qualify with a loss as long as Diomed beats me in the game that was happening at the kind of same time as this. Um, so, there you go. That... That is that game done. Um, unbelievable, unbelievable performance from Moomin Slayer. Commiserations in that game to Strider. And thank you, Dimmy, for uh, for being part of the uh, cast. Thank you very much. Oh, thank and you. Me. Thank you, Elliot. Yeah. And Elliot. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Elliot, Elliot stole the show, didn't he? Elliot stole the show. I don't know why I forgot him. <laughs> thank you, I Elliot. He was just quietly avoiding any stories about uh, colleges of magic, I think. Yes, brilliant, brilliant thing. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.